Hey guys, uh, sorry, I paused the other video and then I was not able to, uh, I'm just filming from my phone and I had an interruption, I was not able to get back to it, so I had to start with a fresh video here, but I wanted to show you, uh, I got the little cover door back on there, the spring is in there, um, and... Um, this one's good to go. So there's three more left to do on this pump and then I'll be done with it. Um, I will, uh, do them and show you the finished result. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I've got all four of them soldered and the springs put back in. Um... This was the hardest one, the one here by the actuator. I mean by the um, accumulator. That was the hardest one because I didn't want to remove my accumulator. Um, you can take them off. You gotta be careful. And they will squirt a little brake, brake fluid out of them even if they were properly um, disabled. So do them outside because it makes a mess. But, um, I had already done that on mine and I had already tightened it back down and I didn't want to take it back off so it was a bit of a hassle. But as you can see, even if you break those little tabs off, they still go right back on. They catch at the top there where the two hooks are and at the bottom where that bottom hook is. And the springs are in there and you can see I've got everything resoldered. Um, I'm showing you this one because it's the easiest one to see. Um, but I can show you all of them and I've got all these I did a quick wipe down of this thing uh, just with a paper towel to get rid of some of the carbon but you can see they're all done and back where they should be Okay, um, so the next thing I'm going to do now is, uh, you see this lip that they uh, goes all the way around where the back of, uh, of this connects uh, against the body. And they had a sealant on there, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of, I've got some uh, RTV from Permatex Black. Uh, I'm gonna use that. I could have used the orange too. I, th I don't think it really makes a difference. I think the goal there is just to keep kind of foreign materials out, water, oil, and so forth. Um, and I figured since I have the black, and it, the black is for the uh, oil resistance, um, and it's in the engine bay, it could get exposed to some type of oil at some point or another. So I, I just figured I'd use that. Didn't, I, I have either. It didn't really, I don't think it makes a difference. So I'm gonna run a bead of that all the way around the bottom there where the sealant used to be. And, uh, and then I'm gonna put the top back on it. Uh, so I'm gonna pause it while I put that on there and I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've got a bead of the black silicone, RTV silicone, all the way around where uh, the cover is going to seat, and I'm going to put the cover back on it now. Uh, I remember when I took this thing off, the label was facing outwards towards this connector here, so I'm going to look from over top and I'm going to line up these holes, the two, with those two holes there. And uh, you just want to be careful to try to get those pretty close, guys, because you're going to have a magnet. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's immediately going to grab that thing and pull it down, so it's going to fight you a bit. Um, also, you can see 
here is there's kind of an edge here where we originally pried it open um, that'll line up um, but it's kind of what you want to do guys is just get it lined up the best you can um, it'll sort of fight you there we go I don't know if you saw that I popped it down a little bit and now there's only a tiny little gap um, kind of smacked it on the top here with my hand and it popped way down so now we're gonna put the screws in now one thing I'm gonna do on the screws also you can see they had a little bit of a sealant on the back of them I'm gonna put a dab of this RTV there and that will uh, seal against the body um, of the case and it will also help these things better deal with vibration so they don't uh, come loose and the other reason why I used the RTV black because I think it looks better um, between that orange stuff would have been pretty nasty all over the place where this isn't going to look quite as bad um, and I start them by hand so that I can be sure that it's it's grabbing and you'll just feel it getting tighter as it starts to thread in to the threads there way down in the body and you want to make sure that it's not cross threading or anything like that before you really start tightening it down um, so Now I've got it reasonably threaded okay. And uh, it's still pretty loose here. It, it's, it doesn't even wanna, I can't quite do it with yet with my um, ratchet. So I'll do it by hand here. But you can see it, it's not really fighting me very much. Get them snug. If it's fighting you a lot, then you've probably got something wrong in there a couple things I want to um, talk about here while you, while I'm tightening this up is um, first of all make sure with those wires soldered and you can see I'm, I'm gonna trade off on these a little bit guys so it's more evenly um, more even pressure here across the whole back of this unit. And you can see now, uh, it's kind of hard to see on this camera, but the sealant's starting to ooze out the bottom as this thing's tightening down. So that's good, it's gonna seal up. Um, but uh, first thing is, those wires where you soldered them, you wanna make sure that they're situated in a manner so they're not touching anything else electrical there in the engine I mean in the motor there you don't want to short circuit anything you kind of want them to be and they have to be free so that as that spring pushes them they'll be able to slide back and forth where they need to be um, the other thing is there's probably going to be some people asking for the measurements on these um, as you saw in my first video, and if you haven't, you should go get it, that there are lots of possible different sizes. There was two just in these two units that I got. So, um, what you're really going to need to do, guys, is pull yours, get a set of calipers, take an exact measurement on your own of what yours are. Um, if you, uh... Once you get that, then you can order the brushes. And to, when you're getting these brushes, it's important that you get the right brushes. And it's not just the size of the brushes that's an issue, guys. There is particular different types and chemical compositions to these brushes. 
and they're made for all different things. Now it's really important, uh, the brushes that I got were special brushes specifically for uh, this application for a, a low voltage DC motor. And it was really hard for me to find the right uh, chemical composition, the right type of brush, which is a copper graphite brush with a really high content of copper. And to find that and find it in the right size. In fact, I ended up having to get them custom made. I could not find them anywhere. So if anybody is interested in getting them, I can get, I have a supplier now that I can get them custom made from. Uh, you can reach out to me at ssmiller60 at gmail.com and uh, I will offer the brushes available for sale if you uh, get the measurement off your own brushes. If you're really not sure about getting the measurement off your own brushes or even doing this work, I possibly could do the work for you too. Um, so email me guys if you're interested in having someone do the brush replacement for you or if you're interested in having uh, some help finding the right brushes. Um, I am going to tighten this thing up just a bit more. I don't think I'm going to go crazy on it. These screws aren't super beefy screws here. I mean, these bolts aren't super beefy bolts, it looks like. And, you know, these heads, these specialty bolt heads probably aren't going to take much torque either. So I'm not going to go crazy here, guys. Just kind of um, till they're pretty snug. And that's it. Uh, I will uh, possibly do one more video once I get this thing installed in the car um, and show you guys if I'm getting errors. Uh, we'll see. I've got the uh, Star Diagnostic Kit, the Mercedes Star Diagnostic Kit. So I will uh, show you if there's any errors, but I think it's going to be fine. All right. Thanks. Bye.